Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to the vlogs. Good morning, happy Tuesday and new release day at Lululemon. It is currently 11.15 and I'm just waiting for the new releases to start dropping on the site. So I usually do like my TikTok live and fill out the Google Doc for that. So hopefully Hudson's going to stay napping, knock on wood, for at least half the duration of the live. That would really help. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that it all works out. But I also have a ton of stuff to do this week, like just stuff around the house. Like I need to vacuum, steam off, we need to meal plan, and I need to go to Lululemon to do some filming of color comparisons. I have some returns to do for my skirts um, video, and I also need to film a try on on all of these items back here. I need to film a lookbook for Mother's Day and a gift guide TikTok for Mother's Day as well. So we have lots to do this week we also need to grocery shop you know the usual stuff but i wanted to bring you along for another week in my life because it's going to be a busy one so let's do it okay little update for you guys since it's a lot later now new releases today were super tiny i feel like there wasn't that many items that were like noteworthy but they did come out with a new lounge set and i definitely want to pick that up and do a little review on them so they came out with like lounge shorts and then matching tops and pants for it here's the tops and then here are the pants anyway super cute giving like skims vibes and i definitely want to give that a try so i think that's going to be my like mother's day gift to myself because it is mother's day this weekend but i also wanted to show you guys this align dress i'm gonna have to put you on the windowsill here but Okay, hold on. You won't see my face, but look how cute this is. This is the new Align cami strap dress, and then it has a little cutout in the back. And then it has like the shorts in here with the pockets. This does not have sticky grips, by the way, on the shorts, so keep that in mind. But I think this is going to be such a cute dress for the summertime and just like in general. So I, I really like it. I was hoping I didn't like it so I could return it, but I really like it. So I definitely think I'm going to be keeping this one. I did get a size four, which I would say is true to size for me now. Like I'm a four in aligned tanks and four in aligned pants slash shorts. So for me, it works really well. I think if you maybe are two different sizes, like per aligned tank or aligned shorts, then it might be a little bit more tricky. I would go probably with your top size, more so your bottom size, because I feel like that is more important to fit like up here because it does have the built-in shelf bra. But I am currently <laughs> filming a whole bunch of lookbooks and try-ons and stuff for TikTok because I have my whole wardrobe out here. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys this dress because... I just really love it and I can't wait to wear it. It's supposed to warm up this weekend so if that's true I think I'm going to wear this for Mother's Day but I think I'm going to do a whole separate vlog for that as well. That's the situation currently. Better get back to filming. Okay we came to Safeway really quick to pick up a few things that were on sale like we need some butter. It's on five dollars so I'm gonna get a few of these and then we also need milk and I'm thinking I want something for dessert so I think we're gonna pick that up too. But better be quick because I think dinner's almost ready, so. Okay, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog, or I guess it's the same vlog. We are currently getting ready. Well, I'm all ready now, but I have to go get Hudson ready because we have playgroup this morning. So here's the little OTD. I don't know if I'm set on this, but we just got the scuba. This is natural ivory in the full zip. I have my line cami strap tank in Mojave tan and then my iron blue aligns here. So currently that's the fit. We'll see if I actually stick with that or not. But last night, I don't know. I don't think anything that fun happened, but currently we need to have some breakfast so that we can be on our way on time. Hey? Yeah. Last night I also cleaned out my closet a little bit more because I'm doing kind of, I don't know, I'm trying to be a little bit more ruthless and clean out things that I have not worn and I don't reach for in a long time. So I posted all of these 
or I guess I took pictures of all of them. I haven't posted them yet, but I need to post them and I will be selling a whole bunch of items over on my Instagram. But to be honest, I haven't had a lot of luck with that lately, but there's lots of really good conditioned clothes in good condition clothes, I guess, would be the proper words. What are words this morning? Um, for sale, and then I also sometimes post them on Facebook Marketplace too. So I took pictures of all of these things. It kind of makes me sad to get rid of some of these colors because they were super fun as an educator, but I just don't reach for my double lined aligns anymore. I don't enjoy them as much. And then same with like some of these colors. I just don't reach for them so I'm trying to be a little bit more ruthless in cleaning out my closet because obviously as a creator my job is to like keep up to date with clothes and stuff and while I still wear some things obviously <laughs> like these all the time there's just other colors that I don't really reach for so I need to get rid of them. I still need to go through all of the scubas and stuff because I feel like I just don't wear half of the colors up there anymore. So that's what I did last night but... I don't know. That's pretty much the update for this morning. I better make some breakfast so we aren't late. Here is the breakfast situation. We got some bananas and oatmeal for Hudson and then his little water cup. So I'm probably going to add some thing to this like cinnamon or nutmeg or some sort of spice because who likes plain oatmeal? And then I also have oatmeal for myself over here which is like the instant apple cinnamon kind. We are currently headed over to the bakery after playgroup to get a little pastry and croissant for Damon as a little treat. Okay, sorry, I got a little vlog shy there because there's so many people at the cafe and the bakery today. It was super busy in there, so I have a few clips of the little baked goods, but we are on our way home now so Hudson can nap. And then we're actually touring houses later today, so I'm gonna bring you along for that too. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad all right, little update for you guys. We just got home from touring our properties. They were pretty much identical. One was a corner unit, which I think we would prefer more because it does have slightly more yard space. And that one did have the garage built and like grass and sod laid on like the property. And the other one we saw was like a brand new build. So it didn't actually have a garage built yet. And then I think they were gonna do the grass in the front all at one time, but we'd have to lay sod and then do the fence and stuff, which the first one we saw also needed a fence, but like that's so minor. They are so expensive though. And the corner unit that we saw already has two offers. So that's not good news for us, to be honest, especially because the last one similar to that already sold at the top of our budget. We like, I'm just kind of worried that, I don't know, our offer is not going to be strong because we're going to be at the top of our budget for it and I think people are gonna start there. So I, I just, I don't know, I feel like we're not gonna get it. And I'm really sad about it because it was such a nice place. I got a few clips for you guys, only really of the one place because like I said, they were identical other than the one being a corner unit. And the first one we saw did have a window, like two windows downstairs, where the second one we saw only had one window in the basement. So I really like the two window thing. So I don't know, they're reviewing offers like literally in 10 minutes. We're gonna find out tonight if our offer does go through. If not, we're gonna push our offer to the second property. But since there's already two offers on the other one and probably like another couple coming in with showings after us, I just feel like those offers are also gonna be pushed to the other listing since it was like pretty much identical, which is crazy because the second one we saw was on the market for 13 days and this one, the, or sorry, the first one he saw was on the market for only a day. So I don't know why the other one took so long to, I don't know, get offers and stuff. But we'll find out. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm like super stressed, but also kind of sad because I kind of made up my mind that we probably aren't going to get the house. So yeah, but we need to go make dinner 
because it is already six o'clock and we've not even started. So better get on that. Good morning. Happy Thursday. It is so early right now, but we are up for We Made Too Much Markdown at Lululemon. I don't know. Today was just okay. Nothing spectacular. I think last week was definitely better for markdowns, but that's okay. Um, there were some scubas today, so that's good. But here's a little update on our house offer. We actually didn't hear back from the selling realtor last night, so our realtor thinks that's probably not a good sign. So we did put in another offer for the second property that was not the end unit, which we didn't love as much, but I don't know. We just felt like if we lose out on both, I think we'll be really heartbroken. I'm already heartbroken about losing out on the first one. I mean, best case scenario, maybe they come back this morning before they review our offer for the other place and say like, oh, hey, we finally made a decision. We want to go with your offer. That would be fantastic. But I'm just not really feeling hopeful at the moment. So I'm not really feeling hopeful for the other one either because whoever didn't get that property is probably going to jump over to the other one, like I was saying, and then that's going to push the price up as well. So I don't know. We just don't have like that much room in our budget obviously because we're at the top of our budget and like with conditions we obviously need a financing condition because i do not want to lose our like deposit that we'd have to put down to push the sale through so i don't know i'll keep you guys updated this morning but today i think it's supposed to be finally nice out which i'm excited about. yeah it's supposed to be 19 degrees today so really hoping to get outside we gotta go grocery shopping at some point and i think I think some people from Facebook Marketplace are coming to pick up some clothes um, back there from my pile of clothes that I'm selling. So hopefully that also happens today, but should be a good day all in all. Oh my god, you guys. I think we got accepted for one of the houses, <laughs> which is crazy. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it, but it's kind of sounding like it's gonna go through. We are just waiting for a letter of pre-approval from our mortgage broker to make sure that we're okay for financing. Like, the financing won't go through just yet, but, like, a pre-approval at least. So, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. It was for the second property. So, I don't know. Not, it's not as ideal, I guess, as a corner unit, but it's still a really nice house and there's so many emotions right now. I'll keep you updated, but I just, I just had to come on here and say... I think we literally just bought a house. That's such a scary thought. You guys, we got accepted on the house. This is crazy. This is crazy. We are little stress balls right now, trying to get our ducks in a row because I only researched up to like making an offer, what kind of conditions you should put, negotiating. Um haven't actually thought about what happens after that stage and now we're kind of panicking because we have to get obviously our deposit down we need to um kind of get our financing documentation papers in order to actually like push through our financing and then we also need our down payment money like ready to go so that you can like pull that and there's just a lot going on in my brain plus we got a grocery shop i don't know maybe that has to happen tomorrow but I feel like we kind of need to go today because we just have nothing in our fridge. I don't even know. Damon's mom's going to come play with Hudson for a while this afternoon so we can get some of our things dealt with. But this is crazy, you guys. We pretty much just bought a house. What? What? I'm actually so excited that our house hunting journey is coming to an end because that part was also stressful trying to just like book properties and like driving everywhere, seeing all these properties, putting offers in and just not getting accepted. But it's also kind of crazy. Like I cannot wrap my brain around that we actually will have a house to live in. That is not this. That is not a rental. I don't know. There's just so many things that need to be done. But this is great news. So yay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. <laughs> Hey guys, it is a lot later now, but we are home. Dima and I power grocery shopped and did all of our errands. So I didn't bring you along because I was just feeling so stressed out already. I didn't want to add another thing onto our to-do list. Sorry, I got a couple clips of 
our errands, but honestly nothing that exciting anyways, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I am so, so, so excited to bring you guys along for moving vlogs, packing, like I have so much content and stuff, but right now we got to get all of our ducks in a row, like for our financing and all of that stuff. So I will probably be starting another vlog momentarily here, not momentarily. I'll be starting another vlog soon here because it is Mother's Day this weekend and I wanted to bring you guys along for my first Mother's Day. So I'm going to be ending this vlog, starting a new one. So thanks so much for watching this very eventful vlog of getting a house. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for lots of moving content coming soon. So, so, so excited. I have lots already brainstorming up here. So I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.